What is going on guys, Craig1287 here, bringing you some Evolve Alpha gameplay. I know I haven't actually uploaded a Evolve gameplay in quite a while uh, since the Alpha actually happened. And you know, you probably would want to upload these things eh, when the thing is out. And uh, But I got caught up with a lot of stuff, getting sick, and then... Uh, Battlefield update came out, and a lot of stuff with Warframe came out, and just all sorts of things in real life as well. Real busy at work, going to conferences, and all sorts of other goodies. But uh, yeah, so um, this round I kind of kept on my hard drive uh, for a while because it's one in which I probably kill the hunters the fastest. Uh, as the Goliath. Now, I never did get a chance to actually unlock the the second monster, the Kraken, and that was mostly because at the time I thought you just had to play the Goliath as much as possible, and you would eventually unlock the Kraken. And over time, I realized, oh, you actually have to level up all of the different aspects, uh, the skills, or whatever you want to say. Uh, to be able is the same way you unlock new hunters, and I, you know, figured that out. You you gotta upgrade all the different skills or whatever you want to call it. So for this, for the for the Goliath, that'd be the uh, fire breath and the rock throw are what I didn't use. I kept using the this little stomp thing and the charge, uh, where you just get that right there. And I kept using those because my mindset of how I wanted to play this uh, Kraken, or the uh, Goliath, was to just be a very mobile creature, to be a very mobile uh, monster, and to use the two abilities that help mobility, so something that lets you jump forward, leap forward, and then the thing that lets you quickly dash forward. But I also like those because they knock people about, they throw you around when you're hit by them, and I, I really wanted to make my build or focus my attacks on things that disoriented my enemies, the hunters, by just bullying them and pushing them around, and I, so I figured as long as I was a hard to hit target via making the, you know my movement quick and making their screens just constantly being tossed around and then not being able to shoot me, then I'd be able to dish out a good bit of damage and um, kill them without having to get to level 3. So as you see, I don't bother putting any points into Rock Throw and Fire Breath, and it was like that for a very long time. I never put any points. By the time I figured out that I had to use those and rank them up uh, to be able to unlock the Kraken, I never got to play as the Kraken. It was just consistently, I got stuck as a hunter, stuck as a hunter, stuck as a hunter. I enjoy the hunter gameplay. I, I really, really do. Um, especially when I'm with TG guys and not just pubs that don't use any communication. Um, but, you know, I, I really wanted to get a shot at using the Kraken. I really wanted to get that, that footage for you guys. And, um, yeah, well, when the full game does release, I will eventually get the Kraken and whoever the... Uh, the third monster is, and I definitely plan to get a more kind of in-depth uh, tips and tricks videos going on. There's a whole bunch of things just from the alpha alone uh, that I feel are, you know, things that not every player will uh, will know. Uh, there's, I mean, the, the four different classes uh, of, of the hunters, and then you have the you know, different versions of each that have their own uh, weapons that they use and they have different uh, abilities like the the main hunter that I wanted to that I typically would use which was the trapper um, you, in one you have the harpoons that you throw that stick down on the ground and they just kinda autonomously snag the the hunter I thought those were some of the worst things every time I used them the they were just so easily broken by the monster. I really, I really hope that they make them a little like the hitbox on them. If he's just somewhat looking in the direction that they are snared, uh, the the hunt the monster can just swing anywhere, and it pretty much knocks them. Uh, so I didn't didn't really like them. And whenever whenever they were used on me, 
it was annoying the very first moment, but then, and you notice these guys keep locking me in here. I'm really not trying to get away. I don't really know why the person, I mean, I mean, I guess I'd have done the same thing if I was a trapper. Uh, my shields are down, so this is their chance to, you know, deal as much damage, but obviously, like I said, my tactic was to get to level two and ju just destroy them with the two abilities that I have fully upgraded. And um, see here, one of those things actually do snare me, but they they really don't capitalize upon it. But yeah, see, I'm just staying mobile and uh, wrecking havoc, getting these guys split up by knocking one guy around and then focusing my attacks on that guy and then, you know, tricking them to come in to heal them and hitting them with a big slam. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, Pretty interesting tactics. Obviously, the the game is gonna. I mean, there. I think the devs said that they would uh, support the competitive scene if the community wants it. I don't really think this game's gonna do all that well competitively. It's just hard to have teams when part of the aspect is just a one person. I, I don't know. It'd be awesome if the game does take off. Um, but, uh, yeah. Either way, despite that, I'm going to enjoy it with my TG guys doing some TG v TG. And uh, probably have some real interesting and fun uh, TeamSpeak communications here and everybody rage against each other. But So, yeah, expect at some point uh, a, a okay, few more okay. evolved gameplay uh, here and there. And then when the full game releases, expect uh, quite a bit more, especially some tips and tricks and guides. Um things like that. So hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay, the quick takedown of the hunters. Hope you enjoyed it all. Have a good one. Ta-ta.